Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant. Welcome back to another video on regular expressions. In this video, we're going to talk about a few additional special characters, the slash S and the slash capital S, capital W, and capital D. You'll recall that we did see the capital W and capital D in a previous video, or the lowercase w and d in a previous video. Now we're going to explore the uh, capital W and capital D. So let's go ahead and start a reg X. So let's do uh, space equals ra.compile. And actually first we should probably import regex. And we'll do space, whoops, it would help if I spelled import correctly. Space equals re.compile. And let's just say we want to look for anywhere where there's three spaces in a row. So we'll do s three and let's do sentence equals hey I like to use lots of spaces cool beans and then space dot search sentence should definitely find it and let's see uh, very cool so that's that's helpful that it was able to find it. Um, there's actually some additional things that we'll talk about in a later video where you can actually use regular expressions to find and replace things. So if you don't like having those extra spaces in there, this could be a good use case of uh, replacing multiple spaces with uh, less spaces. So the uh, backslash capital S is gonna actually give you the opposite of the space. So not space <laughs> equals ra.compile r backslash s let's just do we want to find uh, anywhere that has five of that just for fun and not space dot search sentence is probably going to give us the word space there you go because that's the first place where it sees five non-space characters in a row is s p a c e so that's pretty cool um and you can start developing some patterns here if you wanted so Let's say you wanted to find, you know, four letter words. Um, you could do something like four letter equals right at compile R, and then you'd want a space followed by three non spaces followed by a space and four letter dot search sentence. And that's going to give us, uh, oh, right, we wanted four. So there we go, we've got that four letter word. Now, what we have received back is the space, and then the four letters, and then a space after. So you'll see in a later video how you can use something called grouping um, to just find the piece that you want. But let's say you just want the four letters of the word. Um, you can use groups to do that. There's also another special character that I don't often use, but it helps you identify the uh, beginning and ending of a word. And so uh, you can use the slash B for that, I believe it is. Let's see, I've got my regular expression up here. And yeah, B is uh, beginning or end of a word. So this would probably give you the same result if you use B, but uh, space is probably fine. So let's talk about the capital W and capital D. Where that's going to be helpful is let's say um, especially in the capital d if you've got something where you definitely want to make sure there's no numbers in it um, that could be where it could be useful so non digit equals sorry to compile and let's say it's uh five letters of non digit in a row that we want to find let's do backslash capital d times five and then let's just for kicks say we want to find, um, you know, the word cool before it. <laughs> so cool, and that should be a capital C in this case. Cool, and then whatever that is. And then non digit dot search sentence. And that should give us the result cool beans. There you go, because we found uh, both the cool space and the non-digit uh, five items in a row. So let's say we did new sentence equals 
cool bean five. That is probably not going to return in any results. So non digit dot search new sentence. I don't think that's going to give us any results. And sure enough, it doesn't give us any results because it's looking for five non-digits in a row, but this has a digit in it, so it's not going to work. So there you have it. Had a little intro on some of the additional special characters. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and stick around for uh, some of the future ones. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel to find more and uh, give a like to this video if you liked it. Have a good one.